What is up everybody? It's Atiz, your boy Geek of Sneakers, back with another video. Today's video is a review on the Air Kai and Reeves 85 High in the Art Basil, or more specifically the Distill Colorway. And the packaging for these, bro, the packaging makes me want to the packaging not just for this Air Kai shoe, but all the shoes that have came out with Air Kai and Reeves has been, you know, has been absolutely crazy. Throwing in the carry bag, the extra laces, the all over print designs and the boxes, and just the fact that it has the shoe and colorway picture on the size tag. It kind of reminds me of when you take a sticker of a sneaker and you put it on, the sh you know, you put you put it on the shoe box so you can tell which sneaker it is before you open it. The packaging overall is 10 out of 10 in my opinion. With this specific shoe box, we got to see through cover with the with the still the dis dish still pattern oh my gosh bro that's so hard to say in one sentence the dish still pattern and on the bottom of the box it explains the history of the still which means the style in dutch there's a little educational information for you guys you learn something new every day you feel me and that art style is basically the inspiration for this colorway by the way if you are new i am doing a giveaway where i'm giving away two 150 gift cards to two separate winners to any retail store of your choosing at 5k subscribers and i think we're at like 4.7k so we're almost there a little less than 300 away from uh 5 000 subscribers so if you want to be a part of that giveaway and see more content like this then be sure to subscribe and join the geek gang family and also make sure to follow me on twitter and ig at geek of sneak underscore on to the actual details and materials of the shoe it's made up of suede for the uppers the back heel is a bluish or teal color the name of the color that it says on the box is faded cerulean on the front toe cap and going around the sides we got a yellow or more of a mustard color along with the light gray on the toe box we got a black lightning bolt with the gray behind it we got orange going around the top of the shoe with the reeve signature logo in black and the cuff of the shoe in light gray again i'm not sure how it shows on camera yet as a recording but the padding inside the shoe is kind of like a light cream color very similar to how you'd wear a pair of Air Force Ones, and over time that white lining or padding would get to that color. I love the black lining on the entire shoe. The tongue is in white with the black tag of the Air Kai logo. On the midsole is that vintage yellow color that has been popular on a lot of shoes lately, and the Air Kai shoe does seem to do this a lot, which in my opinion makes the shoes look really, you know, like they have a little bit of character to them. The insoles are pretty hard as it does have the same distilled pattern from the colors in a box. Originally the shoe came with black laces on them and it came with an extra pair of cream laces. But I decided to take the black laces off and pair and put it with the cream laces because in my opinion I think the cream laces look a tad bit better than the black laces on these But they both look dope I just feel like the cream laces give even more of that vintage feel and the outsole of the shoe is in black saying Reeves Originally the Air Kai's came with the Jordan 1 style outsole But in more recent pairs it has been changed to say Reeves on the bottom and this shoe is really a mixture of a Jordan 1 and a, and a Revenge Thorn the brand that makes Air Kai's is black owned and I think it's pronounced Reeves Let me know if I'm screwing up the name and if I am I am so sorry because I've been saying Reeves throughout the whole entire video. The Air Kai's whenever they drop it always sells out so there is a pretty high demand for them. The pair I bought I did not buy on the Reeves Sports site which is the site that you can buy all the all the new Air Kai's when they drop. It was originally an Art Basel exclusive but it eventually got released I think on New Year's and I've seen for resale that this pair goes for as low and I'm gonna put low in quotations as 350 and as high as maybe $600 but I was fortunate to find a listing on Mercari that had my size plus I had a 20% off coupon on Mercari and extra credits on the app from selling you know old clothes that I didn't wear anymore so I was able to get them for under retail. Retail for Air Kai's go for a hefty $275 and then plus I think plus shipping is $25 so it comes out it comes out to $300 flat I heard that some of the shoes even though the packaging is you know top tier and the presentation is 10 out of 10 that the quality of the Air Kai's does not justify the $275 price point plus the $25 again for shipping to make it 300 I can't speak for other pairs out there but for the pair that I have and with me paying $280 for these the quality of the shoe with the suede uppers the really dope color blocking the cool design for the insole and the absolutely again amazing packaging and presentation for the shoe I definitely feel like my pair was worth it plus the shoe does resonate with me as I am in college for graphic design I also love to draw and I'm into art in general and I'm actually familiar with the digital art movement as I did go over I think in or one of my past art history classes from like over a year ago so this shoe is a little more personal to me because it's like the background of the shoe is showing somewhat my you know interest that I do other than you know collecting sneakers and about fashion so and it's overall showing an extension of myself. Air Kai's have gotten popular among celebrities, um, rappers, and athletes. Reeves do copy Air Jordan colorways for the Air Kai's every here and there, like the bread, 
Hornets, the Chicago's, the Shadows, and more. But for the most part, they do make their own colorways that you wouldn't see Jordan Brand really do too much, or you wouldn't see Jordan Brand do at all. They are bootleg Jordan 1s, and there are many Jordan 1s that are bootlegged by companies like Ori New York and Fugazi that I actually mess with. And I like how people are taking the Jordan 1 silhouette and making their own design. But I know some people don't mess with them because they don't like how they're ripping off the Jordan 1 and they feel like you know it's lazy and it's lame to them which I do understand but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below do you guys like all the different bo bootleg Jordan ones that are being released by these different companies or do you feel like it's lame and it's lazy and you don't mess with them at all and you don't want to be a part of this whole bootleg Jordan 1 craze going on right now it's been your boy Harry aka geek of sneakers aka geek of sneaks aka geek aka G O S. y'all have a blessed day I'm out